For a real number x, we denote by bracket x the largest integer less than or equal to x. Let n be a, uh, n be a natural number. The integral from 0 to n of bracket 2 to the x dx equals one of these messy looking options where uh, okay um, I think I've done something extremely similar to this in the past it might have been this exact same question um, I don't remember what the solution was but I remember being a little bit tricked at some point I think I'm going to try and get a sense of how this thing works by graphing it. Okay, so when x is equal to 0, this is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, this thing is equal to 2. Um, but it jumps up to 3 jumps up to 3 at some intermediate value. I guess it jumps up to 3 when 2 to the x is equal to 3. So when x is equal to log base 2 of 3. Um, Maybe a change of variables? Okay, I think this might be a little bit more manageable because if I break this integral up into an integral over subintervals between integers from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, all the way up to 2 to the n, then this is going to be a constant on each of those and we'll just be integrating something that looks like 1 over u. Uh, I have a small problem here. This lower bound should actually be 1 because when x is equal to 0, u is equal to 1. So that changes lower bound on all of these sums. Okay, this 
summation looks pretty ugly. K log K plus 1 over K. It looks like there's sort of a telescoping thing going on here. Let me first, let me write this one more time as log k plus 1 to the k divided by k to the k. Um, so what do adjacent values, how do they add it together? I have log of k plus 1 to the k over k to the k plus Oh, no, let me just, let me interchange the logarithm with the sum and turn the sum into a product. Now, I want to shift some of the indices for the numerator and denominator so that things, are, things have a common base. Let me write it as two products. So we have k plus 1 to the k. And I also have a product as k goes from 1 to the n minus 1 of 1 over k to the k. So what I'll do here is I'll write this as a product k goes from 2 to 2n of k to the k minus 1. And this will be a product as just to change, just so I don't get confused with indices. Um, no, no, that's not, this is, this isn't how I want to do it. What I want to do it, uh, or maybe it is and what I want to do now. Okay. Didn't really need to change the notation for the index here. What I'm going to do now is here, I'm going to extract the first term or, uh, the last term and here I'm going to extract the first term. So here I have. 2 to the n to the power of 2 to the n minus 1. That's the largest term, and I'm left with a product. k goes from 2 to 2 to the n minus 1 of k to the k minus 1. Here I'm left with a product. k goes from 1, uh, sorry, k goes from 2 to 2 to the n minus 1 of 1 over k to the k. And the first term, the one corresponding to j equals 1. Oh, it's just 1, isn't it? So it's turning out to be kind of messy. I hope I haven't made any mistakes uh, in the algebra and so on. Okay, so I have a logarithm of 2 n 2 to the n minus n. And I have here product k going from 2 to 2 to the n minus 1 of, is it 1 over, is it just 1 over k? One over k squared?
Yeah, I guess it's K. Uh, no, not, not, it's not going to be 1 over k squared. It is going to be 1 over k, right? It's k to the power of k minus 1 minus k. Okay. And this is... This is nothing more than that number factorial. Well, in the denominator. Okay, so this is log base two of two to the n times two to the n minus n divided by two to the n minus one factorial. I don't think this is one of the options given so we might have to do some simplification. Um, I'm going to multiply and divide the numerator by 2 to the n. So Uh, keep in mind that this expression is equal to that, so really this becomes 2 to the n times 2 to the n. And when I multiply the denominator by 2 to the n, this turns into 2 to the n factorial. Okay, so this is log base 2 of 2 n times 2 to the n minus log base 2 of 2 to the n factorial. And I think this is one of the options. So here we have n times 2 to the n, just taking the log of something, minus log base 2 of 2 to the n factorial. Yeah, and that's option B. So I'm happy that worked out. I mean, maybe I've made a mistake somewhere and my mistake happened to get me to arrive at the wrong answer. Um, but like I said, I think I did this question a long time ago. And this answer looks vaguely familiar. I don't remember exactly how I approached the question last time. But um, I seem to remember fooling around with something for a, a while. And then realizing that by doing a substitution and just sort of going through the mechanism of the substitution as normal, that that would uh, be end up being straightforward in the sense that it transforms the integral into something more manageable. The sum slash product that you end up with here is still a bit tedious, but there's nothing there's nothing really difficult going on in any of the individual steps. Um, if I have more to say about this one, I'll put it down in the description. Thanks for watching.